I remember in bio this year, I was studying from this huge textbook, highlighting everything over and over again until I finally went on YouTube and was able to find some videos that really helped and all the visuals were definitely descriptive and were able to encapsulate what the words were unable to do. So um, I use the internet for like when we get projects, I use it to research stuff and I often go to Wikipedia and then once I get to Wikipedia I'll read it and then I'll go to like their resources and then I'll find the resources by clicking on them and searching them in Google. So that's basically how I use the internet for searching. On the internet I like to watch YouTube videos on uh, channels called SciShow and Crash Course. Crash Course is about world history and SciShow is about cool science stuff and one of the interesting things on site shows it does more modern uh, science and new things that people are discovering. I have had professors because of the cost of books and because of people going to classes um, or not attending classes have podcasts available for the classroom so if you weren't able to attend the class you could listen or watch the podcast live on your computer at home. And something that is really helpful is our class, we have 14 kids in the class and we made a group on Facebook that we can use for any homework questions or if we want to read something or just to know everything that's going on it's really helpful to keep updated. I do a lot of media production work and I'm always learning, so I use open educational resources every day. I use forums, chats, online videos to kind of give me guidance through Final Cut projects if I ever have any questions. And I make educational YouTube videos on YouTube. Um, so my username is called guinea pigs xx and once a week I put out educational videos um, informing people how to take care of their own guinea pigs from making their cage to what to feed them every day. So I put out a video once a week and I have a lot of people subscribe to me and support me and comment on my videos and it's really really awesome. I love dancing and I get all my inspiration from celebrities and people on YouTube and I teach to myself and I teach other people too so like I can like, get my dance moves out to like, people in the whole world. Cell phones are not typically allowed, but um, especially in difficult classes, I definitely like bust out my cell phone, try to rec record any of the lectures that are happening or take a picture of the homework. Whenever I have a homework assignment that requires some type of research, I usually go to Google and then that leads me to Wikipedia. But my school often discourages Wikipedia um, and so I look at the relevant sources that are on the bottom of the page. Wikipedia is also helpful just in terms of um, finding the necessary facts or just raw facts about whatever topic I'm researching. So I guess I don't listen to my school. <laughs> I took an AP Art History course this year and I was required to take a or make a presentation on Masaccio's fresco and it was located in Florence, Italy. So through YouTube I was able to really um, almost have an interactive and personal experience by walking into the museum where it was located and, and being able to see details that I wouldn't have been able to find in books. On the internet I really like to look at the Khan Academy videos. They really help when, um, if I'm sort of stuck on a math problem and I sort of can't figure out how to really do it, um, it sort of puts it in different words of how to um, solve it, which really helps.